Hello class, this is section 7.1 and in this video we are going to discuss Laplace transforms of trigonometric and hyperbolic trig functions. We are going to calculate in particular sinh and sine. The book already does cosh and cosine and the methods are really similar so I'm just going to stick with uh, the cases that the book doesn't cover. And the key here is that sinh and sine can both be written in terms of exponentials. So let's write it down. And first of all, sinh of kt is actually equal to ekt minus e minus kt over 2. If you, may re you may remember this from your calculus classes. And the point here is to use the linearity of the Laplace transform. So if we take the Laplace transform of sinh of kt, we know that we have one half of Laplace transform of E K T minus one half the Laplace transform of E minus K T. And we already know how to take Laplace transforms of exponentials. So this will be really straightforward. So one half one over S minus K minus one half one over S plus K. And this is just going to be simple algebra. We factor out the one half. We get this. And this will be equivalent to s plus k minus s minus k over s minus k s plus k. But s minus k s plus k is just a difference of squares. So we get s squared minus k squared in the denominator and in the numerator we get 2k which cancels off with the half which gets our value of k over s squared minus k squared as our value for the Laplace transform of sinh kt. So this works if s is bigger than k is bigger than 0. We know that k is bigger than 0 because that's what we needed for the Laplace transform of the exponential function. And we needed s to be larger than k, otherwise we would have uh, some funniness with the division by zero in this step. The Laplace transform for Cauch, again this is worked out in the book and in uh, most exactly the same ways, instead going to be s over s squared minus k squared. Let's work on the sine function now. And the sine function can also be expressed in terms of exponentials. And this is the way to write it down. E i k t minus e minus i k t over 2i. Again, we exploit the linearity of the Laplace transform to get 1 over 2i Laplace transform of e i k t minus 1 over 2i Laplace transform of E minus I K T. We didn't strictly show that you could do this, but it turns out that yes, you can use apply the Laplace transform to complex numbers as well. So we have S minus I K minus one over S plus I K in a similar way as we as the sinh calculation. And this becomes one two I S minus I K s plus i k s plus i k minus s minus i k and this will be equal to the bottom is again a difference of squares but s squared minus i k squared in the top you get 2 i k two i's here cancel and also i k squared is going to be negative k squared so this is just going to be k s squared plus k squared bearing in mind that i squared is equal to minus one and this is indeed our value for the sine of k t and we just for this one we just needed that we just needed that s be greater than zero here 
And similarly, we have the Laplace transform of the cosine function being s over s squared plus k squared. The book calculates that, so we're not going to. So the s of radian zero restriction actually comes from the fact that we care about the real part of the exponential. So this actually comes from s greater than real ik, but the real, the real part of ik is obviously zero, and that's where we get our, our s restriction.